Good evening and welcome to Keith's TV News. Tonight we are hosting a special broadcast in conjunction with How Do celebrating the top 100 movers and shakers in the North West. I'm Charlie Kennedy. And I'm Zach Stott. Guests have been arriving all night here at the University of Salford in Media City to attend the 2012 launch of How Do's Top 100 Media Influences. It will be a presentation event recognising many of the most influential media, creative and digital industry people in the region. Figures such as the head of BBC's North West are amongst the nominees. The reception will give the guests a chance to take part in open discussions as well as to see the university's state-of-the-art digital and creative media facilities. So the How Do 100 celebrates top media influencers in the North West. It's a chance to recognise the achievements of those working in the industry, as Nick Jaspin, editor of How Do, told us earlier. And it's great that we should celebrate, you know, invite a number of them along this evening, a little tour of the Salford University broadcasting facilities, hear from some, some of their peers. Uh, previously we've held it in different places, but I think just what's going on here, the fact it's not the BBC but it's Salford, and the fact that you are both student recruitment, I think, is on your agenda, and also the commercialisation of your broadcasting facilities. I think that's it's a, it's a neat little trick that basically suits you and suits us, I think. It's nothing but opportunity, I think. Despite the challenging times, the companies that are working, creating, there's so many new opportunities out there, and uh, being based in Manchester is increasingly less of a handicap rather than London than it was even just 10 years ago. More and more people across the UK are more than happy to deal with Manchester North West companies, and... Uh, for the ones who make the effort get off their arses, there's, there's stacks of opportunity. And those opportunities are being developed by the leaders in the media industry. We caught up with many of them as they arrived this evening to tell us their predictions for media in the North West. I think it's going to be a bright, successful future with everything that's going on, especially with uh, this fantastic facility here in Salford. Do you think it could go up against uh, the Dubai media city? I don't see why not. I think if we've got the ambition to do it, people can make it happen. Don't forget you can get in touch with us and let us know what you think about the growing media industry on Twitter, at Keys News. Some of you have already been in touch. Yes, um, Ash Horsfall from Salford said, uh, not many uh, due to the perception of the cold north uh, and it's wet and not that friendly. And Maria Lawton says, there is life outside London. But she asks, will this also create more jobs or are they moving people up from London? And let us know what you think on Twitter, at Keys News. Away from traditional broadcast and print media, the North West has seen a leader in the field of digital media. It's a growing area and one that many movers and shakers in the How Do 100 feature in. John Kiefer from K KMP Digita has been talking to us about the changes in digital media. The main change that has happened in digital media over the last 10 years is that there's been a power shift, uh, a significant power shift from uh, the brand ownership of content uh, and digital assets to the consumer's ownership of digital assets. Any event that gets a group of individuals together uh, to discuss these kind of issues uh, and support uh, the North West and what it's trying to do in media and in my particular sphere which is digital media is, is, can only be good and there's a lot of experience a lot of talented people uh, and a lot of very smart people as well and I think when you put those in a room lots of ideas happen. And how do you think this will be good for the university and why it's being held here? I think it's all about environment uh, and atmosphere and I think for the university to be positioned as part of Media City and there's the BBC and other big companies here and it's all about that kind of environment. Rubbing shoulders with the right people, sitting next to people in the coffee bars, listening to conversations going on. I think all of that helps uh, the sausage machine of the right production of students and the right kind of ideas that they've got to support the industry that we've started in the North West. That's it from Keys News on this special programme from the How Do 100 event here at Media City UK. We've heard from the movers and the shakers in the field. Goodbye. Thank you.